I got my life together. But now I look like a honey bun. I look like a Krispy Kreme glazed donut. And while glowy skin is a sign of healthy skin, this is this is a little bit much for me. Hello and good morning, y'all. I'm Amari Callista, and I am going to show y'all my morning routine. So let's get into it. All right, y'all. So we rinse with warm water, and if you've watched my nighttime skincare routine, y'all know this is my OG cleanser. So I use. I have another one, but this is the one I use most of the time because CeraVe is the bomb.com in the end some. And 60 second rule, we cleanse the entire face for 60 seconds. And I will be going in with Sarah V's hydrating toner. I recently bought this. I think it's been about a week now. I like it so far. It's the first actual hydrating toner I've ever used. And so far, so good. My skin seems to like it. And I have not had any breakouts as a result of it. So, right now, I definitely think it's going to stay in the lineup. And if you have oily skin, like I do, hydration is just as important for oily skin as it is for dry skin. So, invest in a hydrating toner if you are not already using one. And next, while my skin is a little damp let me think i'm gonna go in with some lactic acid i don't use this every morning only when i'm having a little pimple action kind of like right here but for the most part um if my skin is looking normal with no active breakouts and not a lot of hyperpigmentation i'll use this maybe twice a week or every other day for a week. And I'm going in with just a little bit, a couple of drops. And make sure I'm getting the trouble here. Okay, so after the lactic acid, because I do have some pimples, probably should show y'all. Zap Zip, I've been using this for several years now. You can get it at Walmart. And I'm sure you can get it on Amazon too, but I get mine from Walmart. I wish it would. There we go. Zap Zip, it's just 10% benzoyl peroxide. I said this, I think, in my nighttime routine because I do use this day and night, depending on if I have any active breakouts. Um, they do make, I know, a 3% benzoyl peroxide gel. If you've never used benzoyl peroxide and your skin is pretty sensitive, I do not recommend starting off with the 10% because it will absolutely irritate and dry your skin so work your way up or you may just find that the three percent is best for you you may not need the ten percent um some of this stuff has been trial and error for me but i am also a licensed cosmetologist so i do know a little something something i'm not on here just telling you to use stuff just because it went viral on social media or everybody's using it i've done my research and experiments <laughs> Okay, I, I've been using this for a while. It works, so I'm going to keep using it even though I use the CeraVe toner now. I only do this really just to keep my skin hydrated in between each step. Okay, next, Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum. I use this in my nighttime skincare routine. It's not one of my favorites necessarily, only because it's not like a super hydrating serum so i could do without it but not until the bottom is empty um but you may find that it, it works well for you i mean you should definitely try it i just like when i'm using serums i like for them to be thick and really feel like they're moisturizing my skin and really giving me that super good glow this is just one of those thinner kind of watery serums and we are down to the last two steps moisturizer i love oh my goodness you gonna get your act together there we go the ordinary's natural moisturizing moisturizer this is 
pretty good. Um, I don't go in with sunscreen without putting on a moisturizer first. And I think that this is a pretty good lightweight moisturizer. And black girl sunscreen. Oh my lord, and I put this way too much. Entirely too much. I did not mean it. It comes out so fast. I did not mean uh, to get this much. So we're gonna take a brief intermission while I get my life together because too much came out and not look at me, look crazy. Okay. I got my life together. But now I look like a honey bun. I look like a Krispy Kreme glazed donut. And while glowy skin is a sign of healthy skin, this is this is a little bit much for me. But I do have to say this time it was my fault. I absolutely squeezed the bottle a little too much and entirely too much came out. But I mean, if you like, look at how shiny my skin is, y'all. That's it for my skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what else you wanna see. If you want to look like a nice glazed donut, a delicious honey bun, get into the black girl sunscreen. Subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, I will holler at y'all in my next video.